Just to press this, pull out your tab, and you hook that loop here. A little rod comes up there. Same thing here. Just little stops, little stop valves. And you uh, just lower it to your desired depth. Send your messenger and it locks in the water at that depth. And then you just pull her up and uh, take out your water. So we're looking about 11.8 meters. So we'll take, generally take sample about a meter off the bottom. You want to try to avoid getting sediment in the sample bottle. Um, so we'll take it about, about 11 meters. Should be sufficient. So again, this is marked off 10 meters. So we'll just count them down as we go. So that's 11 meters. Send down the messenger. Hopefully they both shut. Continuous little device. So I just open one of those to vent. down there and die. <laughs> yeah, what's that? What did you say it was down there? I mean, you can feel the difference. It's about 9 degrees C. Between these two. Wow, what a difference. Phillies, Larry. Um, we get zooplankton. We use this guy. So, this is... Uh, it's called a Schindler Patalis trap. Uh, you basically just lower it down to your depth. And your doors on the bottom top open when you're lowering it. Lower it down to your depth, give a yank, these doors shut, and it captures whatever is down at that depth you lowered it to. Uh, you bring it up to the boat, you pour it through this net, and it lets the water out, it keeps the zooplankton in. It's collecting this cup. Um, just let it go in your sample container. Um, from there, we bring the samples back to our lab at the office and we preserve them with Lugols, which is, uh, and uh, we do the identification in house. And, uh, from there, you can tell what kind of algae you have and has zooplankton, which are the little critters that eat the, the algae, which in turn serve as food for juvenile fish and, and some adult fishes. Kind of get an idea of the, the, the food web of the lake. It's a good test. Mm. Good test that out. That's something we may want to get into at some point. Mm. Let's see, it's very important. I mean, especially yeah. if you have problems with clarity. I mean, telling mm. you know what type yeah. of algae. You know, a lot of the blue green yeah. algae are mm. indicative of uh, excessive phosphorus levels in the water column, and um, they're generally not beneficial to the ecosystem. So that's you know additional tests you could you could look into doing as well. Yeah. But um, other than that, that's just our general. General Lake Okay. Good.